The Yankees are having a press conference at 4 o'clock, which was deemed as major news today, which it's not. I mean, and it's not even a – I guess it's, you know, noteworthy because it's the Yankee captain, but Derek Jeter will be named captain. To me, he's been a captain since he got here, so it's not that big a deal. But that's the Yankees' news today is that he will be the captain at 4 o'clock. Mike, here's Vaughn first. My career is not over. He's sent the Mets website. We'll have to re- see about that. And as far as the Yankees are concerned, the Yankees got to take a chill pill. I mean, nobody cares. It's not a major press conference. Nobody, and I even yan- 90% of yan- 50% of the folks I've talked to as Yankee fans could care less who the Yankee captain is. To sit there and to call that a major news conference is, is really an incredibly misleading job. Nobody, I, could ca- I don't even know who the captains of all these teams. It doesn't mean anything who's the silly captain of the Yankees. It means nothing whatsoever. It's meant, did it mean anything in the last five years when they won four championships or six years when they lost four championships? It meant nothing. Did it mean anything in the late 60s when they didn't have a captain and they, was, they were terrible? It meant nothing. For the Yankees. Well, they didn't to, have a captain from Gary DeMunson. Right. Uh, they, that's what I mean. They didn't have a captain and they were bad. They didn't have a captain this last five years and they won six champion, four championships. Ca- DiMaggio and Mantle were never captains. I mean, it, it, this is, this is so a bunch not, of garbage. A, Who cares? The Yankees making it sound like that the whole world revolves with the Yankees. First off, did the Angels have a captain last year when they thumped the Yankees all over the ballpark? Well, they not, did not. The captain doesn't have It means nothing, but win. the Yankees yeah. called it a major news conference. Yeah, they're wrong. They're Terrible. Wrong. They're wrong. I mean, it, it, it's it, ridiculous. It, the Yankee captainship has Come always on. been symbolic to the Yankees and to, to the Yankees. Fans. Nobody and else cares. No. Some key fans. Well, uh, it's, it, it, I think it's symbolic, is what it is. See, I think Jeter's been a captain anyway, so I don't think it makes you. That's know, one, but now I don't he's think official. Even yet- but you, you're doing everybody a disservice by calling it a major press conference. Everybody thinks the Yankees made a trade or somebody got fired. I mean, so I mean that that's Absurd. a major news conference. Absurd. Absolutely Naming the ridiculous. captain is not a major deal. I mean, it's arrogance. I mean, yeah. the way that they were, nobody cares. There's a lot of people who care less about the Yankees. Plus, there's a lot of Yankee fans. My father, I talked to, could, who, who cares? He don't care. He wants to win. He don't care who the captain is. Mark Malone could care less. Nobody cares who these captains are. It's a bunch of you stuff. You don't care who the captain is, Malone? No, as long as they win, I could yeah. care less. Yeah, well, care I, less. See, not I, an I, issue. I think if you listen to the fans, you'll get a lot of fans who care that there's a Yankee captain because it's always been a symbolic Well, thing. how come I haven't heard phone calls about it in the last 12 years about it? Well, we need a I, Yankee I, captain? I'm just Nobody's telling, called about it. I just think it's it's always been a symbolic thing, but I don't think it's a big deal. I, it's To me, the word to use is symbolic. It's symbolic. I think Jeter's always been a Yankee captain anyway. I agree. He's the I most important he Yankee. That. Yes. He earned that. It, he's got the leadership skills. He earned it anyway. The Yankees, where they stubbed their toe today, they shouldn't have called it a major press conference. They, they did everybody a disservice because everyone thought it was, a, you know, someone got fired or someone got traded. Ridiculous. That's a major press conference. Uh, listen, you know, you want to sit there. This is not being – I would if the Mets did this, eh, I'd be all over them. I mean, I mean that is absolutely – it's arrogant. It's, it's absolutely absurd to tell everybody, and everybody's running around radio stations and newsrooms, major news conference, and I'm thinking Tory's getting fired. Rick, that's something. A trade, something. Oh, Derek Jeter's going to be named captain. Nobody, but no. Listen, nobody I hang out with cares it's that Derek Jeter's the captain. It's not a Trust major. Me. It's not no. a major. It's, it, that's for Yankee fans only. And some Yankee some fans. Some Yankee fans. Not all. Absolutely. And it's not that big a deal. But to call it a major press conference is wrong. It's not a major press conference. Whoever did that is wrong. Uh, that's George, probably. Well, I don't he know does. if George deemed it a major press conference. I don't know if he Well, I think it all comes or, from George. Yeah, but I don't know if he says, call this a major press conference. But whoever did it, whether it's Rick Serrano or whoever, it's not a major press conference. It's, when you say major press conference to us, we think it's a trade. To or anybody, any sports, to any or sports fan. Somebody's retiring or something like or a coach, you know, something like that. The, the, the this Islanders is, is a major press conference today. This is a line in the last sidebar of the note deal on the Yankee game. Oh, by the way, Derek Jr. was named captain. That's all in record. That's all it is. Well, they, that, you know, it'll be bigger than that on the Yankee game. You can count on that. No, oh, they make all oh, the Yankees. And in the it. newspapers, they won't be one line. Well, I mean, it'll be a story, but I mean, it's not a, it, but it's not, not a big major. Deal. No, it's not a major deal. I mean, a major deal is a trade or somebody getting fired. Sports Radio 66 and 1019 FM WFAN Mike and the Man Dog. The Yankees have said they never claimed it was a major news conference. So if that's the case, then we will give the Yanks the benefit of the doubt on that. And maybe the media blew with the fact that it was a major news. Who knows? But I was under the assumption the Yankees called it a major news conference. Now they say that's not the case. We just said we got an announcement. So that, that you want to take the Yankees off the griddle for that? I, I guess you have to if, if that's the case. I never talked to the Yankees directly, so I, I don't know. When I came in, Continent said the Yankees well, they, had a major news yeah, conference, and yeah. that's the first thing he told me. That so was, I assume that, that the Yankees called the major news conference. That was the buzz this morning. Uh, Wherever it started, I don't know. Mike and the Mad Dog, Sports Radio.
It's time to pound the Yankees. They called and raised all sorts of came with me a little while ago. Tell Russo, it's not a, we didn't say it's a major announcement. Don't blame it on us. All right, I come back, in my goodness of my heart, to give the Yankees a little bone and say, yeah, you're probably right. I'm making too big a deal. Maybe I'm wrong. And then I go sit there and watch this in Cincinnati, and it's an absolute disgrace. Cashman's there. The Yankee banner is there. The podium is up. They say this is the greatest day in Yankee history. And the Yankees called me up an hour ago and said, Chris, please calm down. It's, we didn't make a big deal about this. Okay, fine, I'll shut up. And then I put it on TV, and I got a, they got a major press conference for something that a Yankee, f- some Yankee fans could care less about whether Jeter's on a Yan- Yankee team captain. Oh, that's a bunch of good. That's, that's why people, this is why people hate the Yankees. They're the only team in the history of the world that thinks I got to have a press conference, a carving board deal to announce a captain. Who cares? Nobody cares. Joke, and then the Yankees call up and complain about me. Tell Russo not to say anything because we didn't quote unquote call it major. Fine, I pipe down. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, you know what? Maybe the media made fine. Ship cut. Then I go put it. Then they got in the newsroom. They said, "Doggy, you got to go kill him. Look at this." I go, "Andy Scazzeri, like the whole can beg urging me on to go in there and destroy him, and I have to. It's a joke. I don't want to see this. God, it's a disgrace. That's why I hate the Yankees." I mean, gee whiz. God, the Giants don't do this for Bonds, who's far better than Jeter ever was. My God, they don't make him the Giant captain. Oh, come on, please. No team does this. Well, that's why the Yankees are, you know, everybody hates. That's why there's so many people who can't stand the Yankees. Nothing to say. It's ridiculous. To have Derek Jeter up there answering questions. Oh, come on. It's an agate line in the back of the paper. By the way, today, Derek Jeter was named Yankee captain. Fine. We move on. It's not an issue. He, they, he wasn't a captain for five years, and he won four championships. Now it's an issue. And then the thing that bothers me more than anything else is the Yankees called here and said, tell Russo to pipe down. We didn't, we didn't call it in a major announcement. Don't blame it on us. Okay, fine. I, I am assuming it was the Yankees. Was I came in here, Connor says, "Boy, the Yankees got a major press conference on the phone." With everybody I says, "What happened?" He tells me. Then I, we find out. Mike tells me what happened. Not a big deal. And then I then I give the Yankees a break. And then I got to watch this at four o'clock. Oh come on, the Yankees. Gee whiz. Oh. Anyway, I don't think it's a big deal to have this. Except this the only thing is, who's asking them the questions? Mike, you know, listen. If no one cares, why are they asking them questions about it? No. I mean, I wouldn't cover this press conference, but you know what? Someone's covering this press Mike, conference. Mike, I can't, I, I, I can't talk to the New York Post. Well, that's why that, my, my point this is show, that, This show would never run that. Well, not as long no. as I'm sitting here, this show no. would never run this press conference. I can guarantee you that. Well, I'm not going to listen to Derek Jeter tell me what it means to be the Yankee captain. We, we don't run press conferences. Well, so, we would if I mean, it was a well, significant was, announcement. Yeah, if somebody gets fired, we'd run God, a press conference. Uh, but we, we don't, we don't run, run No, we wouldn't run this. But the point is, this will not be, and I don't care because it doesn't mean anything to me. But this will not be agate type in the newspaper tomorrow. Uh, you can take that to the bank. Mike. I mean, the, the, you know, he's going to sit here for how many minutes answering questions because somebody's asking him questions. And the only reason we're taking, you know, I would not take, only, we ha- I'll take Jeter because we need Jeter on as a guest. I could care less about his captaincy. I, I, I wouldn't even ask him about that. I'd care less. Having Jeter on as a guest where you very rarely get a chance to talk to him is the reason you have to have him on. So I mean, if, if the Yankees said, well, let's ask him about I wouldn't have him on. So uh, the, the, uh, to, to have Jeter on is, well, in fact, he's a, a guest. guest. Is a he's a guest. Uh, yeah. That's the reason, yeah. reason I want him on. I don't care about the captaincy. No, nor do I. I mean, 50% uh, me, of Yankee fans don't care. They're not interested in this. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know well, look what, at Malusis. I mean, he could well, care less. What, he's I, just, I, ask the guys in the newsroom are Yankee fans. None of these guys care. Well, you know, sometimes it's a little weird what the Yankee fans care about. I mean, for you know, obviously. I mean, you know. Well, I, I'll grant you some do. You I'll, know, I'll buy that. Some want to get nostalgic about it, but a lot of people don't care. A lot of Yankee fans. Fans are nostalgic, though. A lot of them. You know, My father just, doesn't care. Well, that's okay, though. But last week you said no one cared about Clemens. They, fit, they sold 44,000 seats in Detroit, so somebody cared. Nah, so, I, I mean, you know, hey, so. I don't know, but, if, I don't know if how many Yankee fans bought the tickets who uh, went out to Detroit to see it. 10, 12,000 did that. 
whether they would have sold 40,000. Well, I the bottom line that. is people showed up that never show up in Detroit. That's the only sell they've ever had. Well, I was really kind of, you know, that was really more tongue-in-cheek that he didn't do it against the Red Sox. No, but my point so is let him, that. let him go do it in Detroit. That was a tongue-in-cheek No, but the idea comment. is that nobody that, cared, though. But, no, but the, but and the, I don't think that many no. people care about this, but the point is tomorrow when you pick up no. the newspaper, Time this out, is going to be a headline. Time I mean, out. that's just the way it is. Time I mean, out. The nobody cared, Mike, was the issue that he was doing it against the Detroit Tigers. Right. Not the issue about the ballpark. The issue was the Detroit Tigers, a sort of a minor league club with 12 wins. That was the issue. Right. The issue but was none of not, us thought they were going to sell. Well, the I grant you that, and I don't know if they would have, been, but it wasn't the fact that, that you know that the issue was the Tigers was the issue. Yeah, Nothing uh, else was the Tigers. Yeah, but the point is, we thought that no, we did not think that 44,000 people were going to show up to watch it. And I don't know if they would have if it wasn't for 12,000 Yankee fans buying seats. Well, so I don't know how many Yankee fans went out there. Well, I don't know if they, you know, I, I, I don't know how many showed up. But the bottom line is that's the biggest crowd they've ever had in their history. Hey, I, listen. Since they opened the ballpark. I, My I, point is this I was tomorrow, surprised though, by that. I agree with you. This will be, everything the Yankees does is a headline. This will be a headline tomorrow. Everything Derek Jeter does is a headline. Derek Jeter does a commercial with Steinbrenner. It's on the front page of the paper. I mean, this guy, he's a headline every time he turns around. That's just the way it is. I mean, it's Derek Jeter. That's why it's a big deal. It's a big deal because everything Derek Jeter does is a big deal in this town. Everything. Hey. It's just the way it is. There, every time Derek Jeter does anything, it's a big deal. And if you have to have a captain, I am the, the first to admit Jeter's the Oh, Yankee that's captain. the point. But the point is everything the Yankees do is big deal. No. I mean, not, it's not a big deal, no. but it's a big deal to the news media no. that it's a big yeah, deal. I mean, they care because they cover it like it's a big deal. No. Well, I'm, I, I can't no, speak. No, I don't, and we I don't. I can't speak for the other news media. I'm talking about myself. I could care less, and I know we don't care. Right. So I, but you, you know, said what, it would be an agate in the paper. Uh, it's not going to be is. an agate in the well, paper. To me, as a fan, it's, it's an agate in the paper. Because nothing Jeter does is an agate in the paper. Jeter goes out, it's not an agate in the paper. And then the Yankees call and say it's not. A, they get on me. They call and say, hold on now, tell Russo, pipe down. We didn't say it's a major announcement. All right, you know what? I'm wrong. Let me apologize, which I did. And then I find out they got a dog and pony show in Cincinnati with the GM there who flew in for it. Hey, come on. Uh, Yankees pipe down. Gee whiz. Joe DiMaggio was not a Yankee captain. Joe D. He won 9-1 in the World Series. Great, one of the greatest Yankees of all time. Far better than Derek. Not a captain. Nor was Mickey. Well, they didn't believe in captains, though. They didn't have any captain. It wasn't like Joe D didn't get it. It didn't have a captain. Right. Well, because when, Derek died. They didn't have it in the 50s. They didn't have a captain. Or 60s. Or until Munson. It, because it, it was obviously because of... Uh, like I said, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a press conference. I totally agree with all that. But the bottom line is everything the Yankees does is a big deal. Everything the Yankees do is a big deal. That's just the way that, that's just the city we live in. Everything, the Yankees, anything they do is news. I guess They don't do anything and it's news. I guess the fact that there are people in the ballpark, are people at the press conference, I guess that makes it significant. Uh, well, you know, to me, you, know you know Jeter's going to be splashed all over the place tonight, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow in the paper. That's just the way it is. I mean, Gina's always splashed all over the place. And by the way, speaking of Yankee Cat, why today? I have no idea. Well, you know, I have no I, I Why mean, would you do it at home? I have no, I, I, I mean, I have not, no idea what the significance not, of today is. Why didn't you do it when you gave him the, the $189 million contract? Why didn't you do it after he won his third straight World Series? Do it that I have spring? no idea. All of a sudden, they have a lousy game in Detroit, and Derek Jeter is today named the Yankees. I, I don't know if there's any <laughs> That's even. Absurd. You know, they won the game in Detroit. I don't even know what the significant. The Yankees are in first in place. Sin- in Cincinnati, and they do a dog and pony. I don't right. understand. And it. they do a dog and pony show to boot. That I have. Oh, my God. That I would have no reason to understand. But you know what? The Yankees, when it comes to this kind of stuff, are always hard to understand because they're at George's whim. George decides, you know what? It's time to make Derek Jeter the captain of the team. I like Jeter this week. You know, that's basically it. You know, I, I, I bring Tory yeah. up there. Oh, I mean, it's like, gosh. you know, maybe ha- gig now, maybe that's something to do with that commercial they put out. Can I gig now? Can I lose lunch right now? I mean, this, I can't take it. I cannot take this. That I, I can't. This is a uh, major announcement. Get on us. Fine. This is they're treating this like the you know the Yankees uh, you know just traded for Vladimir Guerrero. I mean, come on. Well, we're not even carrying it, so I mean, Thank we're, we're, we're well, the I ones. W- who are, I, w- I wouldn't uh, stand for that. So why not, let's not even talk about it. Let's go back to the no, to the good. calls. It's hey, it's good fodder for a show. It's good fodder. 